At the edge of eastern Scotland, the wind carried a cool salt haze across empty fields. A few strands of copper-colored hair glinted on a museum specimen table illuminated under controlled glass panels. Geneticists had sampled its follicles months earlier, tracing a sequence that appeared in only a fraction of the global population. A variant of the MC1R gene linked to red pigmentation and heightened sensitivity to light. Across Europe, census records and cohort surveys hinted at a gradual decline in carriers. Not sudden, not dramatic, just steady shifts in demographic patterns shaped by migration, fertility rates, and global mixing. What appeared to be a simple question of color became a deeper study of inheritance. But the genome suggested a quieter truth beneath the numbers. In the late Paleolithic, roughly 20,000 years ago, northern Europe was a mosaic of ice sheets and tundra. Seasonal light varied dramatically, with long winters and brief summers. Within this landscape, hunter-gatherer populations moved slowly across open plains, following herds and coastal resources. Genetic evidence indicates the emergence of the MC1R gene variants responsible for red hair and fair skin during this period. Reduced ultraviolet exposure created selective pressure for lighter skin to optimize vitamin D synthesis. Skeletal remains from sites in the Ponte Caspian steppe in Ukraine reveal markers consistent with these mutations. Ancient DNA sequences recovered from bone fragments indicate low but persistent frequencies of R151C, R160W, and D294H alleles. Archaeological deposits show sparse habitation, hearths, flint tools, and occasional settlements, suggesting population densities low enough to allow recessive traits to persist without being lost to genetic drift. Microscopic analysis of hair and keratin residues in peat bogs supports continuity of these alleles across millennia. Population mobility remained limited, enabling pockets of genetic isolation that shielded the trait. Environmental factors, rather than deliberate selection, shaped its persistence. Even in harsh landscapes, minor variations endure when conditions allow. A trait survives only when the land permits it. Between 4000 BCE and 1000 CE, the British Isles became the principal refuge for MC1R variants. Post-Neolithic coastal and highland communities remained relatively isolated from continental Europe, allowing recessive alleles to concentrate. Archaeological layers show small settlements with circular huts, storage pits, and hearths, indicating stable, low-density populations. Ancient DNA recovered from Orkney, Shetland, and Northern Scotland confirms consistent presence of R151C and R160W variants. These alleles appear alongside genetic markers of Mesolithic hunter-gatherers, suggesting continuity despite incoming Neolithic migrations. Medieval records, while descriptive, note fiery-haired individuals but rarely provide quantitative insight. The population largely maintained allele frequencies through local mate selection and limited gene flow. Population genetic models indicate that small isolated communities amplify recessive traits. The probability of two carriers mating remains higher than in larger, more mobile populations. Archaeologists and geneticists observe this pattern in combination with low fertility variation and spatial clustering. The land itself acts as a reservoir of genetic continuity, preserving traits through isolation and slow generational turnover. By the late 19th and early 20th centuries, systematic population records allow closer examination of red hair prevalence. Scottish and Irish birth registries indicate stable frequencies, ranging from roughly 4 to 13 percent depending on region. Urbanization begins to alter historical patterns of mate selection, slightly dispersing previously concentrated alleles. The narrative addresses the origin of extinction claims. Early 21st century media cited population genetic models projecting long-term decline in visible red hair due to global intermixing. Scientific analysis clarified that these models did not imply disappearance, only a gradual reduction in phenotypic expression. Recessive traits, by their nature, may become less visible when carrier pairings decrease. Genome-wide surveys, including data from the UK Biobank, show continued presence of functional MC1R variants. 
allele frequency remains measurable even in regions with extensive migration. Mathematical models predict modest declines in visible red hair over centuries, not elimination. The 20th and 21st centuries introduced factors reshaping the distribution of MC1R variants. Urbanization, global migration, and intermarriage reduced the genetic isolation that once preserved red hair in Northern Europe. Large cities draw populations from diverse regions, diluting local recessive alleles. Climate changes also affect selective pressures. Increased UV exposure in northern latitudes reduces any advantage previously associated with lighter skin for vitamin D synthesis. Modern diets and supplements further diminish the environmental pressures that once shaped pigmentation traits. Genomic studies indicate that MC1R mutations now persist largely as neutral alleles. The recessive nature of the gene ensures continued inheritance even when phenotypic expression decreases. Include allele distribution heat maps and schematic diagrams illustrating recessive transmission across generations. The narrative emphasizes that gene frequency shifts result from cumulative, subtle forces rather than sudden events. Cultural, environmental, and demographic variables act simultaneously, reshaping the appearance of populations without eliminating underlying genetic material. Traits shift when boundaries dissolve. As global population expanded through the 20th and 21st centuries, localized genetic traits became proportionally smaller. Northern European populations, once relatively insular, now mix extensively with migrants from Africa, Asia, and Southern Europe. Demographic projections reveal that, while the absolute number of carriers of MC1R variants remains substantial, the percentage of visibly red-haired individuals declines. Fertility rates in historically red-haired populations are lower than global averages, contributing to gradual phenotypic dilution. Migration patterns disperse alleles across continents, reducing the probability of two carriers pairing within a single region. Allele drift explains how recessive traits persist but appear less frequently. Geneticists note that even when rare, carriers propagate the gene silently through heterozygous inheritance. The phenotype's visibility is thus a function of both demographic structure and cultural mating patterns, rather than selection pressure alone. Proportions change when the world grows unevenly. The modern world disperses MC1R variants into global networks. Urban centers, mixed families, and diaspora communities carry the alleles far beyond Northern Europe. Red hair visibility declines in any one region, but the gene remains active in heterozygous carriers. Ancient DNA studies show that recessive traits persist for millennia, resurfacing in distant populations through inheritance, migration, or reconcentration in isolated groups. The gene's trajectory is less about extinction than redistribution. Population models indicate that while the proportion of visibly red-haired individuals may decrease in Europe, global dispersal ensures that MC1R variants survive across diverse gene pools. Allele retention depends on reproduction, migration, and random mating patterns rather than selective advantage. The data illustrate that visible traits may diminish without eliminating underlying genetic material. A lineage rarely ends, it only travels.